A Detroit woman is finally back home from the hospital tonight. She's recovering there at home in isolation after being treated for the coronavirus. Now she's sharing her personal firsthand account of what happened to her. Was telling myself I'm going to be okay. I have a lot of prayer warriors and thank God that I was still alive to at least breathe still on my own. Remy Crenshaw says faith is what pulled her through her darkest hour. The 49-year-old Detroit mother of three spent a week at Beaumont Hospital in Dearborn being treated for the coronavirus. It feels like you're slowly suffocating when trying to breathe or even talk. On March 12th, Remy says she first noticed pain in her left leg and back. The next day, she felt like she was coming down with the flu, sweats and chills. She says everything she put in her mouth tasted like metal or salt. Days later, tests confirmed she had COVID-19. At the very worst part, it was like you're underwater gasping for air and someone is still dunking your head. It does take a toll on your body. You have to fight, though. Uh, you have to be persistent. Remy says she focused on staying positive and prayed a lot. Of course, I was worried about my life, but my faith didn't let me waver. So it's more like faith over fear. Her husband, Gino, so emotional when Remy was finally discharged from the hospital, he got down on one knee and proposed to her all over again. They've been married for 17 years, and after going through this ordeal, they want to renew their vows. Remy's message for all of you? Please take it seriously. Stay home. Do what you have to do. I did not catch this at work. It, I could have caught it just from waiting in the long line at a store when everyone was trying to buy up everything and someone could have just been talking next to me, coughing, sneezing, and you don't even know it. So this is very important to listen, self-isolate, and do what you have to do to keep other people alive. Such yeah. an important point. We should also point out that Remy is also a kidney cancer survivor, a diabetic, and mm. she also has asthma as well. So she is in that high risk category. Faith over fear. I like that. Outlook I like from that her too. Husband. Yeah.